We come back live to Talladega with the caution flag out. Travis Pastrana and Reed Sorensen have been involved in an accident down the back straightaway that's wound up on that very wet inside of turn number three. Reed Sorensen stuck in the grass. He actually got up in the air a little bit on this. He almost went over. It was very close. Travis did a good job of getting on the brakes, actually, while Reed Sorensen was in midair in front of him. And oh, around goes Labonte off the bumper of Marcus Ambrose, and caution is out. He's going to save it. Barely got him right in that left rear corner that we've been talking about. And the rains that have plagued Daytona Beach for the last few days have captured the Frank Stoddard car driven by Terry Labonte. His Ford can't get out of the mud. But this crash is going to involve several cars. We see Hutt Strickland in the mud. There's three men in the mud outside. And there's Joe Rutman. It was bound to happen. Lake speed is damaged badly, so is Rusty Wallace. The Sunoco car of Terry Labonte on the right side of your screen is damaged. Look at this. Looks like a parking lot. Looks like a junkyard back in the back stretch. Why they use those straps on, uh, on the uh, race cars, a fabricator for the Rick Hendrick team explaining the situation. And he's not from North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. <laughs> he's from New Zealand. Tony Price. Jimmy Means there stuck, stuck in the Alka-Seltzer Pontiac trying to get out. Oh, Michael, around he goes through the grass, look out in the pits. Tears up a lot of grass and throws it up on pit road, but... And he's well, stuck. Boy, and it's wet. You can imagine that because we had a huge amount of rain here in the last three days. Oh, come on, Michael, get it going. Straighten your wheels up. Straighten your front wheels up. It'll help. Two cars together, one sliding through the infield, and that is David Reagan in the 55. Caution is out. Not sure what to, it uh, looked like David Reagan just ran into the back of someone. He's not going to go anywhere, I can tell you. He's stuck in the mud. Well, that's not the caution David Reagan wanted to see, but all those drivers that took the wave around, that's exactly what they were looking for. Is right this there. guy the same as this guy? <laughs> uh, yes, yes he is. <laughs> Third caution, they've all had, oh, okay. there's the Please. 98 away. That was a bad mark for Jeremy Mayfield. I don't think he got into, uh, there, you see this, this styrofoam protection there? That's about, what, three or four feet thick, the styrofoam? And uh, that's good. I'm glad to see him do that. But he still can't get any traction. I don't no. think that he hit that, Larry. But he's, he's I don't just, think he did, but he just he just can't get out of that mud. And uh, These tires don't have tread on them, so they get no grip. And Jeremy was running in seventh position, a really good run before this problem here. This is a tough break. And everybody thinks that's a negative. I love it. Well, wow. That might have been a handful for that's, Matt that's, Kenseth. That's more character than we're looking for. Matt, buddy, as much as it's rained, I wouldn't even try to put that thing in gear. Yeah, he, he may want to just climb out. <laughs> Skinner and he's stuck. It rained heavily last night. And look at the damage on Jeff Gord's DuPont Chevrolet. And Rusty Wallace, his car also heavily damaged and stopped in turn three. There you can see how Mike Skinner is not able to get away from his spot out there in turn three. Trouble. Ricky Rudd gets spun around through the grass. No caution yet. No caution yet. Ricky Rudd is stuck. Yep. With all this rain and everything. He's going to need some help. Yeah. Oh, man. The car probably didn't have that much damage, but he's going to go. He's going to go a lap or two down. Who's this? Petty can still consider himself lucky. Look what happened to New Jersey's Jimmy Horton taking the outside wall, and easily he could have been collected by one of those 190 mile per hour missiles, including his own son that was traveling off turn number two. Treble front straightaway, Sterling Marlin slams into Elliott Sadler, and Marlin goes for a ride. Go, pace car, go. Man, pace car was going down pit road. It looked like Sterling was on his way into there. A break for Dick Trickle. Dick Trickle's out in front of the race leader. And I think the caution will have to come out because Sterling probably won't be able to get out of that wet grass. It all happened on the restart, and again, it has rained so much here all day yesterday, and again last night that these slick tires gained no grip on that very, very wet grass. 
Because his spotter had to stay straight in the yeah, wheel. exactly. That's what he needs to do because that's... Uh, he, he doesn't oh. realize it has the wheels cut, I don't think. You've been stuck in the mud. I have, yes. <laughs> Of course, you're trying to get down to 45 miles an hour before you get to those clocking segments just way too fast. And that's why we're under caution, because he is out in the drink without a life preserver. Can't get out of the grass. Oh, got a car off. Rusty Wallace oh. in the gravel trap. And in the mud. Oh, look is at that. Is he stuck? He's going to be stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. He Absolutely. can't get out of there. We're off in camp, Billy, but I don't think he hit him. I'm in the mud. I'm... That's at the inner loop. No caution yet. Uh, Lost the brakes going in and uh, went to uh, vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. And you see all the mud. We've just had an enormous amount of rain here at Watkins Glen over the weekend. In fact, they had a lot of trouble trying to get some of the fans into the parking lots today. They've had so much water on the property. And we've got a car loose in the center of the field. It's Rick Mast, the number one across the grass. Sliding toward that infield area. Oh, he missed that water. That, that might slow him down a little bit. You know bit. what? I think the water really was a cushion there. Doyle Ford puts him back under caution. Whoa. Got <laughs> mud buggies here today. Mast was running 15th when this took place. Looks like the swamp buggies down at Naples, Florida, buddy. Uh, he needs some tread on those slick tires mm -hmm. to get out of there. Back at Michigan International Speedway, Jeff Gordon's car has spun and uh, is stuck in the wet grass and muddy area here in the uh, for along the front straightaway. Bring out caution number six on the day. Matt Kent's just got a real fast car, and Jeff Gordon's trying to get out of the way, but Kent's has got a big run, comes back up across in front of Matt Kenthus, gets himself spun out. It looked to me like Jeff wanted to give it to him, but he just had to chase the car because it was loose and he just had to have that extra room and slid up in front of Matt Kenthus. Here goes the 22 into the 33. Menard into the wall. And the yellow comes back out yellow again. Out. Yellow's yellow's out. Yellow's out. Before out. they get the whites, there's another green-white check. And is that Parker Kligerman I see there that is so. down in the infield section? Yes, it is, and he is stuck. We've had a, a big, heavy rainstorm on Thursday in that infield portion. If you get down in there, as you can see, I don't think he's getting out. Well, you're going to see some other cars running out of gas now because this is going to take a while to get these two going. Crash out of turn number four. A multi-car pileup. Eric Almarola, his car all turn up. That is Michael Walter, who will not win his third Daytona 500. David Gilliland's car is crashed. Almarola's gone straight to the garage with his number 43. Gilliland stuck in the mud, and Danica Patrick. And, and Mike, Danica, she pounded that outside wall head on first. Crash around, around goes to 25. Four. John West Townley sliding through the grass. The brakes off the brakes. Turn your wheels to the left. Turn your wheels to the left and get going. Put it in first gear and try roll. John West Townley running in the 19th position when he slid. And this is going to be the trouble with all the rain we've had here in Kentucky. This front stretch grass is very, very stop. wet. Now put it in reverse and try it back up. Put it in reverse and try it back up. And because of all of the rain that we've had over the past three days, the grass very wet, they won't want to take the tow truck into the grass. There for you, but they're going to pull you out of there. I'm not sure somebody was trying to slow down and get pit lane. Casey Mears, bottom of the body. Schrader's in the grass. Several cars down pit road. And I'll tell you who's lucky is Schrader because he gets out of the grass, but Bobby Labonte gets stuck in it. And that will put us under caution. Mike, I'm not so sure that that wasn't a product of all that banging up there in front. It kind of chain reacted back. And uh, Rudiman stuck on the curb. The grass is so wet from last night's rain, and those tires are so slick, I don't think he's going to be able to power out of there. Whoa. Contact there. there Michael go. Lynette going around. And more behind him. Max Pappas is spun. Michael Lynette is trying to fire his car and drive it away from turn seven. For the moment, he's not moved. I can't get out. I can go backwards, but not forward. Michael Waltrip and Blaney got together. There goes Blaney into the wall. There goes everybody. Yeah, Brian Newman's in it. Greg Bimple. 48 car. Half the field, it looks like. 
doesn't look too bad, but look at the back end. That looks like a car that could finish the race if they could just get it out of the mud. Watch your outside. Watch your outside. Down into the front straightaway as the 72 car has spun it around. DJ Kennington. And you know what, Randy? He's stuck in the mud. Been there, done that. I did that after the race once here. Guys, we had a lot of rain in Memphis area the last couple days, and so the infield is very, very wet. And you can see right now the DJ just flat stuck there. Can't get out. A more car spill spinning down in turn one. That Wimmer. There's Wimmer. Number of guys went down pit road. Yeah, you're not going into all this. Caution is out on lap 147. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's Kyle Bush. He has been everywhere tonight and now. I'm stuck. I'm done. <laughs> oh, spinner. Got... That's Cody Coughlin, the 13 that's gone around. Coughlin going to be able to get it started and going again, or is he stuck, stuck in the stuck mud in the, yeah. there with the grass? It's so wet. So that's the reason for the yellow with the 13 coming to a stop. Timmy Hill in the 66. Cole Custer in the double zero. And look at all the cars stuck in the grass right now. Several of these cars are in their second wreck for the night. Gray Galding in the 08. Can you get it fired up? More spots if these guys keep rolling. Chad Fincham in the 42 out of his car. We saw Cesar Vaccarella in that 90 involved in an accident early on. Just to review, you know, the reason this wet grass for someone like Ryan C makes a difference is if he cannot get his car out of that grass and he needs help, it'll be the end of his day. Trouble for Yale, Kale Conley in the 33. Hold what you got there. They're still coming. They're Ooh. still coming. Don't unhook. All get by. That's yes, Keith Barnwell, the spotter for the 33. He's telling don't unhook your seatbelt because it's like not over till it's over. I want to know where to go right there. You hit the bottom and he got turned back into you. He had run near the tail end of the lead lap most of the day. He was 18th and two down when this occurred. Oh, now they've got a man. They got the, the rollback stuck. I would need a truck to get the truck out. Let's hope he doesn't get stuck. Outside. Oh, stuck in the mud. That's how hard it rained here over the last few days. And the fans are going to love this. I tell you who's going to love it. My man Kyle will just get out and wave at him. He won't care. He might yeah. bow. He won't care, man. a long dry spell for the former Bush Series champion. And now he's in the mud. He may not be able to get out of there. With all the three inches of rain that we had here in Memphis, but from the overhead pictures, he will stop right alongside the racetrack logo. So it'll make for a nice PR view when they take the pictures that Randy is going to sink in to yep. the muck and the mire of Memphis. Now what's going to happen? The crew's going to push him, and he's going to floor it, and he's going to spray him with mud water. <laughs> This victory is fueled by Sonoma. Fuel your best. That's what Alex Bowman was able to show us today. His I think I best. Got it stuck. <laughs> yep, it <laughs> rained a lot, Alex. That celebration may last a little bit longer now.